Hey guys, so I just wanted to jump in here and show you what happened to a couple of my split rocks before we get into potting them. And that was the red split rock, and then this is the one that had three leaves, and it started to rot in the middle as well. So, um, definitely unfortunate that that happened, and, but this is the reason why we unpot them and figure all that out. So looking at the remaining succulents that I have, the Alanopsis shunsii, which looks pretty good, the two other split rocks, this one is starting to wilt on there, but that's okay, and then the two lithops that I have, which the smaller one is definitely a little bit squishier than I would like, and it's starting to wrinkle, which when they do wrinkle, they will get a little bit squishier, but I'm not sure that I'm feeling any sort of babies in there, which is a little bit concerning to me. So going ahead here, I have got this planter, which I will show to you. I like that it doesn't have, it has a hole in it, but not all the way through the bottom. So if it does link any, then you're okay. I have a set of three of these, um, which are just little white plants, and they also have a hole in it which is great for succulents and basically a must for succulents. But because they have a hole in it, I don't want all of my gritty mix and my pumice to fall out through. So I'm just cutting a little bit of cheesecloth that I picked up and I'm going to make just a little cover for it. You can also use like that plastic, you know, sort of grate material if you have it, but I'm just worried that the diameter of that it would just fall straight through. I don't ha and I also don't really have any of that readily available. So I'm going to be using the gritty mix soil and then I'm going to be using this horticultural pumice. I picked these up from bonsaijack.com. I will link that below. You can also get them from Amazon. So I think they might have two days shipping. I'm not sure now. But I'm going to go ahead and start with my big pot. This is the one I'm going to be putting my two split rocks in and the Alanopsis shunsii. They seem to be the healthiest of them all. So I'm going to put the two little lithops in the smaller one so that I can baby those a little bit better. And I always wish that there I could, had something that I could suspend my lithops and split rocks in whenever I'm planting them as adults because I always feel like I end up just squishing their little tap roots down in there not as well and I did use you know the little tool that I got in my first ever planting video but you know I found that these guys were just so big that you almost just needed to use your hand and then I just sort of smushed all of this gritty mix up around it but I do think the gritty mix is going to work well it's really nice um, and great for being able to check the roots later on down the road because it sort of just falls apart and is really going to allow me to baby these plants and water them whenever I want to um, and water just certain ones if I want to because it's such a quick drying soil and the way that it works it really doesn't um, move the water across so similar to osmosis in other soils it doesn't um, transfer that water across so it kind of stays exactly where you put it which is really nice if you have plants in different stages in the same pot or plants that need a little bit of extra care. Now, now certainly if they're really bad, then you might want to plant that plant just by itself, which is why I did these three in this pot because I think that they are some of the healthiest ones that I got from, from that Lowe's store. Um, but I wouldn't want to put my lithops in there and so I'm doing a little bit of watering here just because these guys have been sitting out for a period of time for actually probably a couple weeks before I potted them so they've really dried out and usually whenever I plant them I don't or repot them I don't want to water for you know several days just to give time for the plants to acclimate but in this case I'm a little bit more concerned that those roots really need to get some love and this soil is so quick drying that even that little spritz is probably going to be a, enough for them. So moving on to the lithops and like I said in this one I am going to be using just that horticultural pumice and I'm going to do the same thing where I'm placing my cheesecloth in there and then going ahead and pouring it in and 
I decided to go with this rather than the Gritty Mix. A, just because I wanted to try something different. And B, I think that the Gritty Mix is going to retain water a little bit more than this Pumice Rock is going to. So that's the reason why I went with that. The other thing here when you're planting these etiolated split rocks is that you can't really plant them just all the way down like a normal split rock, right? So just because it's nice and tall, you think, well, I'll just fix it, I'll plant it deeper. But unfortunately, as it grows, that little baby in there, if they're really etiolated, can pop out of the side. And that could be an issue for for you later on down the road because it'll be lower and you, you won't know where it's at. So just filling these up as much as I dare to fill them up and making sure that they seem supported with this. And I'm going to go ahead and water these guys as well. I probably won't be watering them very much after this. So I just wanted to make sure that I gave them a little bit of a drink just to give those roots a little bit of something um, and, and keep them from, from just totally croaking on me. So these are my plants and I will keep you guys up to date. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Thanks guys.